Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to install Ubuntu server on uh, VMware Workstation 12. So let's get started. To start off, we'll have to uh, download uh, Ubuntu server from the ubuntu.com website. So let's head over to ubuntu.com website. And then in the download section, you'll see server. And uh, you can, here you can see um, the alternate download downloads and and torrents so you can you can actually click on download downloads and it would start the torrent uh, i mean it will start the down uh, the download download instantly but i would suggest that you try out the torrent because uh, because the file size is large and then uh, and then torrent is is actually really fast so choose any any option you want any uh, alternate any 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 method of downloading so once you have downloaded the file you can save it in your downloads folder so here i've got ubuntu 16.04 dot dot one server downloaded in my downloads folder so let's head over to vmware workstation and then create on the, click on create a new virtual machine so typical is good next then uh, we'll have to select the iso file so let's go to the download folder and then let's select the ISO file. Next, enter your full name. Next, and you can uh, choose your server, the, the name of the virtual machine. I'll give it Ubuntu server. You can leave the location as default. So this is what I normally do. Next, split virtual disk into multiple files. This is always recommended. So next, now we can customize the hardware. So for this installation, I would be uh, increasing my RAM to 2 GB and then processor to number of processors one and the number of cores two close and then uh, here you see that power on this virtual machine after creation so you should keep this checked and then let's click yeah, let's click finish so after this the installation process would start the installation is is fairly uh, fairly straightforward so you don't really have to do anything much you just have to uh, wait for the process to complete from uh, here onwards so this is the installation process everything is going on fine so let's wait uh, for the process to complete Now you see that the system has uh, restarted after the completion of uh, of the of the uh, OS. So now we'll have to log in so with the with the with the login name that we gave earlier. Yes. So so that's it. So this is our uh, fresh installation of Ubuntu server. It looks so you see that this is actually a command line uh, uh, so it doesn't have a it doesn't have a GUI and uh, now in this in this let's say if we try to um, shift to full screen mode we won't be able to do it you see so the uh, screen size is really limited here let's try to install VMware tools here and you see that uh, VMware tools uh, has already got installed so let's try to check the version 
by typing in the following command vmware you see so once we uh, once we type the command uh, vmware hyphen toolbox hyphen cmd dash v we see the vmware um, tool version already installed but still we are not actually able to do it i mean we are not able to uh, move to the full screen mode but this is the limitation of the of the terminal so i wouldn't so i wouldn't so i would not suggest that you try to discover or try to find out ways to uh, uh, to get this into full screen mode because the process is a bit tedious and then it's not really worth it one of the easiest way is uh, is is this uh, install uh, one of the easiest way is to install open ssh and then try to connect uh, ubuntu server uh, with with any ssh client on windows such as uh, putty so i'll show you that process so now let's try to let's install open ssh on ubuntu server to install open ssh server uh, we'll have to enter the following command so sudo apt get install so the command is sudo apt get install open ssh server press enter This will go ahead and install the OpenSSH server. Let's wait for the process to complete. Now the process is complete. So now we'll have to find out the IP of the system. So type if config. So this is the IP. We have located the IP, which is which. If you look up, you see INET ADDR 192.168.2244.139. So this is the IP of your uh, of your uh, Ubuntu server. Now let's head back to our uh, our Windows system. Now head back to um, google.com and search for putty P -U -T -T -Y. we'll have to um, download the software so this is a this is a free ssh client for windows and this is this i think is the best available option there so without uh, hesitation download this so let's download this now you can you can download the, this for the windows version so here it is it's it's just an ex executable file so you don't have to go so you don't really have to install anything so click on put it.exe and wait for it to install i mean uh, to download so now we have got this and then uh, it will be available in our downloads folder now let's open put it.exe so we, we for this we have to double click that's it it's a simple process run and here we are so this is our uh, putty client so in the host name, enter your uh, IP address that uh, that that we got from uh, IP, IP uh, from the if config uh, command on the terminal. So it is 192. In my case, it's 192.168.244.139, and then port would be 22, and then open. Now you see. Click yes and then enter your uh, login login credentials and that's it. Now you are now you are inside Ubuntu server and you are accessing it on Windows through the SSH client. Put it. So now you see this. This is lot more cleaner compared to compared to uh, our Ubuntu server. See, it looks really uh, clumsy. I would recommend that um, to do any work on your Ubuntu server, I would suggest that you uh, try to access your server through Putty, and it it's really lightweight. It doesn't consume much memory, and it and it and it is very efficient. You don't really have to go into 
the details about uh, um, increasing your um, your uh, resolution because I found that to be a bit tedious so I would suggest you go this way so this is a this is it guys uh, thanks for watching this video and enjoy your uh, uh, newly installed Ubuntu server